Devil Comet, is about to make its closest approach of Earth. Welcome. I hope you enjoy then subscribe and like. The Devil Comet, officially known as Comet 12P, Pons Brooks, is set to make its closest approach to Earth at around 3 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. This unusual comet, noted for its horned appearance and series of outbursts, has not been visible in the Northern Hemisphere since early May. However, those in the Southern Hemisphere have a better chance of spotting it through binoculars or telescopes. The comet's distinctive shape, reminiscent of the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, when it is explosively active, remains a mystery to scientists. This celestial object completes an orbit around the Sun roughly every 71 years, similar to Halley's Comet, making observations a rare and valuable opportunity for astronomers. The comet was first observed by Jean-Louis Pons in 1812 and independently by William Robert Brooks in 1883. On April 21st, Comet 12P, Pons Brooks made its closest approach to the Sun, coming within 74.4 million miles, 119.7 million kilometers. On its closest pass to Earth, it will be over 143 million miles, 230 million kilometers, away, posing no risk to our planet. For context, the Sun is 93 million miles, 149 million kilometers, away from Earth. The comet's peak brightness occurred in late April and has been diminishing since. Its next closest approach to Earth will not happen for decades, making current observations crucial. The comet's diameter is estimated to be between 6.2 and 12.4 miles, 10 to 20 kilometers. Its green hue, common among comets, is due to diatomic carbon molecules that emit green light when they absorb sunlight. Comet 12P Hans Brooks has drawn significant attention due to its frequent outbursts over the past eight months, which have given it a horned appearance. These outbursts, involving the ejection of gas and dust, are not rare for comets, but the frequency and intensity observed in Pons Brooks are notable. Such outbursts are driven by the heat of the sun, which vaporizes gases within the comet, causing pressure to build and release explosively through its surface. Interestingly, Scientists have identified two regions on the comet's surface as sources of these material jets. This selective activity suggests that most of the comet's surface is either covered in a crust or depleted of ice, though the exact mechanism remains uncertain. Since February, the comet has shown no further outburst activity. Astronomers are particularly interested in Pons Brooks's rotation rate, which is about 57 hours, longer than expected. They aim to determine whether the jets of material affect the comet's spin rate. Additionally, our two-dimensional observations might make the comet appear more complex than it is, as its three-dimensional structure and perspective play significant roles in its visual presentation. The ongoing study of Comet 12P, Pons Brooks provides a unique opportunity to deepen our understanding of cometary behavior and composition, offering insights that extend beyond this particular celestial visitor. Thanks for watching.